getting to know me tag. G'day plant lovers. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kathy. For all my return visitors, thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate it. I was recently tagged by the wonderful Emma Greenwood. If you guys don't know Emma, you are really missing out. And she recently tagged me to do a plant tuber tag that was started by another YouTuber, Stories and Succulents. And I'm going to link both their channels in my description box below if you guys want to check them out, which I think you definitely should. First off, I need to thank Emma for the tag and for the beautiful compliment she paid me. I really do appreciate it. And I definitely feel the same way about her, which is probably a good thing. <laughs> okay, so let's start off with the first question, which is to introduce myself. Well, I'm Kathy, obviously, and I'm retired. I retired around 10 years ago due to my health, but prior to that, I was practicing law for about 17 or 18 years. And I had my own practice for most of that time. The next question is, what hobbies do I have outside of plants? I have actually answered this a couple of times, but briefly, I love to read. I am a huge movie buff and I like pretty much all movies. I love to knit. In fact, I knit pretty much every day. Yeah, pretty much, unless it gets really hot. I love playing poker and computer strategy games. I'm not really into PlayStation or any of those console games, except for Crash Bandicoot. I love Crash Team Racing. <laughs> so I play that occasionally, but that's an old game. I also love tinkering with computers and I spend a lot of time customizing it and working out new software. I am definitely a geek. Oh, and I love gadgets, like anything. Uh, Google Home, Kodi, yeah, anything and everything. So what else? True crime podcasts. I love listening to those. Well, I think that's enough for now. I'm sure I've left things out. I always seem to leave things out. I have a lot of hobbies. <laughs> if you haven't guessed that yet. Okay, the third question is, do I have any dependents? I have two pets and I will insert some footage here so you get to see them because I love showing them off. I have a 10 and a half year old German Shepherd called Remy, who I've had since she was five months old. I love her to death, obviously. I do love German Shepherds. She is, in fact, my second German Shepherd. And she's getting on a bit now, so it does worry me as to how much longer I'll have her, but I'm going to enjoy every moment that I have her. I am in a wheelchair scooter, but I actually do walk her, so I'm really looking forward to the nicer weather. We haven't quite hit our warm spot yet in Melbourne, but hopefully soon, and then I can start walking her every day again. So yeah, she is definitely very close to my heart. And my other dependent is my little devil of a black cat, Maya. She's just a moggy. Doesn't matter, I think she's gorgeous. She's four years old, close, and she is sometimes the bane of my life. Her new thing for the last probably two months is to turn on my robot vacuum every single morning at 6 a.m. <laughs> Drives me crazy, but she is also the biggest snuggler and every night she will get upset if I'm not sitting in the living room and allowing her to just lie all over my lap. So she has her pluses, but yes, they're my two dependents. And the fourth question is why plants? What is my plant origin story? Okay. Hmm. I need to go back first to 2018, which was probably the worst year of my life. My father died unexpectedly in January of that year. He wasn't that young, he was 82, but we weren't ready for him to go. And he was probably my most favorite person in the world. So it was quite devastating to lose him. And on the same day, I found out that my older brother, Jim, 
had stage four cancer. So 2018 was just a horrible, horrible year. I was grieving for my dad and then worried sick about my brother Jim. And he actually passed away in November of that year. So I was reeling, I think, trying to deal with my grief. And I was looking for a project, that's what I call them, something to throw my passions into that keeps me busy, that I'm loving. And I had just finished a major project of digitalizing all my movies and TV shows and CDs. And I was really struggling. I was looking for a distraction. I needed it. And I went to visit my cousin who is also called Jim and his wife Trinity in their home. And Jim has a lot of indoor plants. And I haven't been to that house before. So I remember walking in and just being stunned at how wonderful it felt and how wonderful it made me feel. I just loved this feeling that imbued the whole house. It was very welcoming and very warm and natural and I just loved it. And it really reminded me that life's a cycle. That yes, there is grief, there is death, but there is also a renewal of life. There is also life. I guess I needed that reminder that life goes on and that there is still so much beauty in this world to enjoy and appreciate. After talking to Jim, I thought, I'll try a couple of plants, see how I go. And I'll be honest, I really didn't expect it to become such a passion for me. And I think part of it is because it really comforted me at a time when I really needed it. And it also brought me a serenity, a calmness, a joy too, in watching them growing, in watching them, you know, putting out a new leaf. And I think that it was something I really needed in my life at that time. And for that reason, I think I will be eternally grateful to plants. And I'm sure that it will be an enduring passion. Sorry, that was a little bit long winded. So let's go on to the next question is why did I start a YouTube channel? And to talk briefly about my first video. That's a tough one too. There are really several reasons. And one of them was that when I started watching plant YouTubers, which was probably in January or late last year. I just love the community I found, how supportive everyone was and how everyone shared information. It wasn't, oh, I'm going to keep that information to myself. It was, you know, how can I help you and what can I do for you? And sharing plants and trading. I just thought, I love this community and I wanted to be a part of it. Unfortunately, there are not a lot of people in my life who are into plants as much as I am, or my cousin Jim, who I don't get to see as often as I'd like. So I was looking for other people to connect with and to build a community of plant lovers. The second reason was that there weren't a lot of Australian YouTubers, particularly located in Melbourne. And I often found that some of the videos, whilst excellent content, they didn't always relate to us in Australia because we are in the Southern Hemisphere, because our climate is different and the products or plants that we can get. And I knew how much research I had to do to learn anything about plants. So I wanted to give back something to the community and provide information for others starting on their plant journey, particularly those who live in Australia. So that was another reason. And the third was that I didn't find anyone who was in a wheelchair or had a disability who also had a plant 
YouTube channel. And I guess I wanted to represent that group as well, because that is something I really love about the plant community is how diverse it is, how it represents pretty much all walks of life. And my first video was pretty much in line with all of those, as in I wanted to provide some information for people starting off on their plant journey. Things that I wish I had known when I first started. Okay, another long-winded answer, <laughs> so apologies for that. The next question is, what is my philosophy on buying plants? Buy them. <laughs> but also, buy within your means. And by that I mean that if you can afford a plant, or you want to save up for a particular plant and buy it, then buy it. But don't allow it to become a financial strain on you that it's affecting your ability to pay your bills or anything like that. And the other thing is to know your limits. You will reach a point, and I think we all go through that when we first start collecting plants. You just want more and more and more. But you reach a point where you have to say, no, that is my limit. I really can't take care of any more because it is becoming a burden rather than a joy. The next question is, what is my favorite part about having plants? Hmm, there are so many. <laughs> One is, I am really grateful that they comforted me during a very difficult time in my life. And the other is watching them grow. Oh, I just love seeing plants growing. I love seeing new leaves and seeing that they're happy because it makes me happy to see my plants doing well and know that I have helped them to be happy in my home. I love that part. Next question, what is my favorite genus? Hmm. You know, that is really hard for me. It's very hard for me to pick a particular, say, genre in movies or books or, or a genus of plants. I pretty much don't go by genres or groups. I prefer to just look at a plant and if I love it or it speaks to me, then I really don't care what genus it is. Now, I don't like orchids <laughs> and I know that has been a little controversial because they're very popular. Well, maybe not controversial, but I know that a lot of people do love them. I would say I am more drawn to peperomias, but then yeah, I like certain philodendrons and I love my Monstera. So I, I really don't know if I could pick one genus over another. Okay, next question. How good is my space or house for plants? Okay. Well, I have fantastic light in my house, I will say, in this house anyway, which was certainly not the case in previous houses I've owned. But this one gets lots of light everywhere. However, I have a lot of bookshelves. I think I have 10. And they pretty much take up almost every free wall and some not so free walls in my home. So I don't have a lot of space for putting plants. And I think if it ever came down to books or plants, I'm afraid the books will never go. <laughs> Which is a terrible thing to say. But yeah, I simply don't have a lot of space so I've had to be quite inventive as to where I can put them but if it wasn't for the bookshelves I would have tons of space for plants but as I said I would never get rid of the bookshelves or the books <laughs> next question how do my housemates respond to my plants well my two housemates are Remy and Maya and I actually think that they are a little jealous of the attention I give to my plants. I don't know if other people do it, but I actually do talk to my plants and I tell them how beautiful they are. And I see sometimes Remy or Maya kind of looking at me like, hang on, that's how you talk to us. Why are you doing that with plants? So I think sometimes they are a little jealous and a little resentful, but now they're pretty much quite accepting of it. And the last question is, what am I looking forward to the most as a plant parent? 
Oh, I can answer that easily. I want trees growing in my house. <laughs> I want them to reach so big that they hit the ceiling. I really cannot wait to see them grow that big. So that is what I'm looking forward to the most. And that'll probably take a very long time. But for now, I am just happy to see my plants happy, doing well, growing. I love that. And it is something that they reward me every single day. Okay, so that was all the questions. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing this tag. And I wanted to thank Stories and Succulents for coming up with this great tag. And I also wanted to thank Emma once again for tagging me. Love you, Emma. Thank you very, very much. And now I would like to tag a few people. And I hope you guys do it, but it is entirely up to you. The first person I want to tag is Charlene from Plantain Charlene. If you guys don't know her, you honestly have to follow her. You will love her. And the second person is Rachel from Rachel's Indoor Garden, another Aussie in Melbourne. You guys definitely need to follow her. She is wonderful. And the last person I'd like to tag is Tatiana from Plant Mama Tatiana. You will love Tatiana. She is fantastic and she is a lot of fun. So I'll tag all three of you and I do hope you guys decide to do it because I would love to see your responses. And as always, thank you very much to all of you for hanging out with me. I really do appreciate it very, very much. I'm really quite overwhelmed at how wonderful and kind all of you are. And as usual, and you know I don't like doing this, but apparently it does help a channel to grow. So if you guys like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, you can subscribe to my channel. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Until next time, take care guys. Bye.